I finally got an electric motor for my Quincy 325 air compressor. <coughs> it's a ROC10. It has nearly been an entire year since I pulled this back and now I finally have an electric motor for it and it's bolted down in the tank and basically everything is set up. I've got some plumbing right here though I'm going to get some new regulator and gauges and all this uh, stuff right here. These are only rated for 140 PSI and I want to get some that are rated for a bit higher than that and which have better airflow and stuff and this gauge is kind of wacky and all that <clears throat> but it works I have this thing set to cut out at 125 PSI right now because my other well, one of my relief valves was popping even though it wasn't getting up to the pressure it was rated for and stuff but uh, for now I got it working I'm gonna get some better parts and stuff uh, soon and I'll get it up against the wall in the right place and stuff and you can notice there's uh, two wires coming into it. One wire is uh, one of the two power cables to it, and each of them has a ground, and they're grounded. But um, there's two of the conductors, and each of these are tied together so that it can carry the amps for this thing. And also, it's pretty handy because I can clamp the amp meter just around one of these and get a good reading on it. <clears throat> but yeah, I finally got a motor for it. It's a Leeson 5 horsepower 1740 RPM motor. It's um, full load amps is 21 um, when I'm running a 240 on the input. And then uh, the service factor amps is like 23, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 24 with the service factor. Um, it doesn't actually say the lock rotor amps, but I measured that and it's around 150 amps with uh, no load on the compressor, or no air in the tank, sorry. <clears throat> I do not have a hydraulic unloader for it, so it's just going to be pumping straight up into the pressure of the tank. It Kicks on perfectly fine though when there's pressure when the pressure relief uh, sorry pressure switch kicks in um, it starts up perfectly fine and all that so I'm not concerned about that I do have a um, uh, what's this called uh, it's unloader for the continuous run I think it's like a VD pilot or something is what Quincy calls it but uh, I'm not certain about that. It's been a while since I looked at the parts manual on this thing, but you know, I have coming in the mail some brass fittings for uh, plumbing up my pipe. Uh, I got the pipe right here and stuff, and it will plumb in right like that. And I'll have the, it set for a little lower pressure than the pressure switch. So if I want to run it continuously, if I'm going to use something that's going to use a lot of airflow, um, you know, it's harder on the mo it's hard on the motor to start and stop a bunch. So um, it becomes more efficient and stuff uh, to just run it with the unloader, so it continuously runs. The motor can keep its fan going over with no load and stuff, or no pressure in the tank um, hitting it and stuff. But all I have to do is flip this valve, and then I'll have this thing set to about 120 something psi, where this thing will be set to 130 to 140 psi, and it will just unload and unload and unload the valves up here uh, to keep the good, good good amount of pressure in the tank and stuff, and allow this thing to continuously run. So anyway, make sure that valve is closed there. Uh, I'll go ahead and fire it up for you guys. Let's just make sure all the valves are shut. Okay. Also, yeah, this is a 7.75 inch pulley right there. And I have two 75 inch belts on it. And a 16 inch um, pulley there. So, yeah. I'll stop uh, ranting on 
and I'll turn it on in just a second, but I'll have a timer right here so we can keep track of how long it takes to pump this 50 gallon tank up to uh, 125 psi. So uh, let's see how I'm gonna do this and get it right. Well, I started the timer and. off right on 125 psi and uh, let me stop it so it stopped at about four minutes and 20 seconds so yeah four minutes and 20 seconds to fill up 
a hundred and or gosh, uh, fill up a fifty gallon tank to hundred and twenty five psi, and really said a hundred and twenty eight gallon tank. But hopefully, my voice actually was able to be heard over the sound of the compressor running. Yeah, it, uh, it's quite a nice compressor with this motor on it, and the motor is just ever so slightly warm. The back of it's actually cold, but yeah, let me stick this thing right on there. This hose is leading outside, and I'm going to drain some pressure off of it until it kicks back in, just so you can see it kick back in. Or that's the wrong one. Kicks in at 90 psi. It's actually more like 80, I think. Right there, it cuts off at 125 uh, psi, and that was like one minute or so to fill it up, or maybe less to top it back up. So yeah, it pumps quite fast, and yeah, it will be quite a nice compressor when I get uh, finishing touches done and new things. Also, this uh, motor mount you see here, uh, the tank right here is designed to, or was cut, the holes in it was cut to fit this uh, ancient three-phase motor right over here. Uh, the end caps are over uh, back there. but And since this thing has a 184T frame, it's got a different mounting. It's like a 7.5 by 5.5, I believe. And so we definitely wouldn't fit the frame for that motor. Um, so I took some 1x2 uh, steel tubing and I cut it out. So there's two 10.25 inch pieces and two 11 inch pieces. And then I welded them together and it makes a nice frame. This is basically the first thing I've ever welded together and I think my welds are fairly good for a first time ever welding but yeah I just stole primer on this side but it's facing the wall so I don't really care uh, I don't think I'm going to repaint this pulley I kinda like the color it is right now and I'm definitely not going to try to repaint that motor even though it's a dark blue whereas the tank is a nice bright deep blue as the paint calls it or the paint can says but I don't want this video to run on too much longer. It's a uh, good well, nearly 20 minutes, I think, if my uh, counter on here is working right. It just counts down the time and all that. So anyway, yeah, I don't want to keep you on here too too long. So I'm just gonna end off by saying if you um, want to see more videos like this in the future and stuff, then subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments about this, then leave them in the description and I'll... I'm not description, sorry. <laughs> it's getting late tonight, and so I'm not thinking properly. Uh, sorry. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.